Hi folks, well it's been a long time, it's been over a month since the last greenhouse update and I thought I'd start out in the way that these things should do with uh, mm, Liberty Pills or uh, Organic Hells mm, or let's try King Kong give that one a try I guess Mm. Good enough for me. Anyway, let's go and have a look in the greenhouse. So, the story from the greenhouse in the last month is mostly one of uh, aphids and spider mites. And although I'd put uh, aphid predators in here and spider mite predators in here, and I'd stopped doing the pyrethrum to make sure I didn't kill my predators, they still didn't keep things under control. The aphids returned, the spider mites returned, and uh, I gave up last weekend and went back to using pyrethrum. Anyway, this is the sweet aperitif tomato, or one of them. And as you can see, it's doing absolutely beautiful with massive trusses of tomatoes. Um, so very happy with that. Let's just give you a full look at it. Oh, that is as zoomed out as we get. Uh, we're running about eight or nine feet tall up there now. So probably next weekend, I'm gonna lop the top off that and uh, keep that down to a reasonable height. Uh, next door we've got the Costulovo Genoveso, which I don't think the last time I filmed the video had any fruit on it. But uh, we've certainly got some now. I, I can't actually see the screen on this at the moment. There we are, we're definitely pointing at the right place. But yeah, we've got uh, a dozen or so tomatoes on their way. So uh, not looking too bad at all with that. Um, my peppers are still rather small. We've been taking a few fruit off them, but they're... Uh, not as big as I'd like them to be. I don't quite understand why. And next door to that, we've got our golden berry, which is getting very, very laden with fruit. Pretty much every leaf junction there got fruit in its little uh, paper lantern things. So uh, no problems going on there. And in the corner, we've got our other sweet aperitif tomato. Now I do realise, let's go back in. Now I do realise that this tomato looks like it hasn't got anything ripe on it, but that's purely because we've been taking it off as soon as it gets ripe and eating it. So and we have been harvesting that already. Strawberries have been suffering badly from spider mites, but uh, as I say, I started doing pyrethrum again last weekend, and uh, for example, this one here has got uh, some nice-looking new growth on it that isn't getting all mangled, and we've got a another leaf coming through there looking okay so so I'm giving up on the predators and I'm just going to stick to pyrethrum from now on I've tried all sorts of organic natural things and washing up liquid and milk and olive oil and all sorts of things and uh, none of them have actually kept things under control the way that pyrethrum does so I think I'm just going to stick to that for the rest of this season and uh, see if that can keep things under control On this golden berry you can see the spider mite damage and it's quite easy to spot on this because they uh, eat through the underside of the leaf. I uh, probably can't see it on here but they eat through the underside of the leaf and they leave it slightly transparent which is why it goes all white. It's a, it's a great canary plant this for pest control. Definitely seems to get hit much harder than the rest. Um, on the onions, the onions are gone and I'll show you where they've gone in a little while but I, I harvested that bed and I've dropped in a broad bean that my son brought home from school that they'd uh, sprouted in some tissue paper. So I thought might as well put something in the bed. And the other bed of onions, I mean, they're all lying down now. But uh, they're basically about the right size for harvesting now. And they're not really doing much else there. They're just kind of lying around now. So I should probably get something else on the grow in there. 
might get some garlic on the go in there. Anyway, let's go and have a look in greenhouse number two. This is my new extended rabbit run. I bought uh, 28 of these three foot by two foot panels so I could have something portable. And uh, it means that Spotty Bob isn't restricted to just one half of the garden throughout the winter, throughout the summer. Um, and it means I can make a little rabbit run wherever we need to protect the flowers and uh, the rabbits can still get a good run of the garden. And there's Philop Bunny there. Uh, that's, that's actually my rabbit rather than my children's. So, yes, he's Philop. And somewhere around the garden, we'll have Oscar. Uh, don't know where he's hiding at the moment. So, over in greenhouse number two, things are looking all right and we don't have quite the same problem with pests, with pests though we do have a few snails or slugs, um, definitely something that leaves a slime trail, so not caterpillars, but something that's been nibbling at a few different things. And uh, my other big problem is uh, this has happened every year and I'm kind of inclined to give up on this drain pipe NFT rail system, both for the strawberries and for this, and change to a flood and drain or DWC style solution. Problem I have is, at the moment, the water level in there is very, very high. And that's happening because this broccoli plant here is blocking things up. And if we look down on this side, water level's much lower again. And this happens throughout the rail. Wherever there's a big plant, uh, we've got the P there, and the water level in front of the P is very high. And uh, it doesn't take long before it gets slightly worse than that. And the water just starts overflowing out and I have to do drastic root surgery on things. So um, I'll probably stop doing this drain pipe NFT after this season and go on to other things. So just a quick round up, we've got a cauliflower here which is looking a lot better than it did a month ago. We've got one of the volunteer sweet aperitif tomatoes that I just found growing down in here, like this one here. Where are we there? Like that one there, just growing in between the pebbles um, as kind of a leftover from last year where a tomato had fallen on the floor and I'd failed to pick it up. This pea is doing fantastically though we're growing mostly down rather than up but we've been harvesting off this every couple of days for the last week and uh, my son loves peas which is very handy and uh, yeah they're very very good indeed even I like those peas. Um, got some basil going that's a superb really nice spicy flavour to that been having that with the pizzas and on pasta and things like that. Um, got a golden berry here that uh, I thought this was just a pot of clay balls but um, it managed to seed itself and sprout itself so I haven't pulled it up. Um, another basil there looking all right. I've got one salad bowl lettuce but uh, I'm going to get another one of those on the go. We did have a second one but that one's all gone now. And uh, I think this is rosemary. I planted three different kinds of herbs and only one of them sprouted and I can't remember which one it was, but I think that's rosemary. And uh, another California wonder pepper here, looking all right. So that's it for greenhouse number two. Now hopefully my new wireless mic setup with its uh, little furry wind filter on it I mean it's actually possible to record out in the garden again. So uh, have a look at my asparagus there and got a butternut squash that my mum planted for me yesterday. Got some uh, volunteer, volunteer potatoes that we failed to dig up last year 
and uh, some more in that bed but uh, generally I haven't been very good at doing things with these raised beds this year so in the corner it's all getting a bit dark I need to go on a big hack through that hedge there. So anyway thanks for joining me folks um, that's kind of it for the look around the greenhouse at the moment I must apologize I've been very bad at responding to YouTube comments the last few weeks I've been kind of busy and uh, switched jobs and had a lot of visitors at weekends so I just haven't really had the chance to do any videos but um, I have read all your comments and they're still marked as unread in my inbox and I will get around to replying them but um, it just takes up quite a lot of time so um, yep and I'll get on and do some projects videos soon as well anyway thanks for joining me and uh, take it easy see you next time cheers <laughs>